Here's a bizarre true story. Berkeley radio station KPFA has canceled an interview with scientist Richard Dawkins because they say Dawkins has offended Muslims. Dawkins, as you know, is an evolutionary biologist who became famous for being an atheist. He claims that evolutionary theory proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that creation is a random process without purpose or meaning and that that's why he's so depressed and nasty all the time. Dawkins has called faith, quote, one of the world's great evils, unquote, because it causes people to hate one another instead of loving one another, as the Bible tells us to. He says that if Jesus were alive today, he would not believe in himself, but would tell everyone that he did not exist. Okay, I made that last part up, but it makes as much sense as the rest of what Dawkins believes. Anyway, in his attacks on all religion, Dawkins has included attacks on Islam and has criticized the Quranic verses that command Muslims to slaughter everyone on earth so that God can ultimately have the planet to himself to use as a summer vacation spot. In Berkeley, however, this is an atheist step too far. It was okay for Dawkins to criticize Judaism and Christianity, which are offensive faiths because they created the values of freedom and equality that have oppressed minorities, gays, and women by not giving them the freedom and equality created by Judaism and Christianity. But to criticize Islam, which demands the destruction of minorities and gays and the virtual enslavement of women, is a violation of the tolerance demanded by Judaism and Christianity, which are evil because... Okay, wait, I've lost the train of this thought. Let me try again. You see, KPFA in Berkeley is tolerant, a uniquely Judeo-Christian value. But they're not tolerant of Judeo-Christianity because it's intolerant, unlike Judeo-Christianity. They are, however, tolerant of Islam, which is intolerant of those who don't believe in Islam, because what could be more tolerant than being tolerant of complete intolerance? Put simply, it is now forbidden to speak your mind in Berkeley, California, if you believe in something that offends those who believe in something else, who of course offend you because of their beliefs and are therefore forbidden to speak in Berkeley, California. Thus, KPFA invited Dawkins to speak because he believes in nothing. But then they found out that believing in nothing offends people who believe in something because they believe in something and not nothing. So best to say nothing, which of course is saying something, which offends those who believe in nothing. So say nothing, which offends those who say something. Thus, anyone who is intolerant of anything is forbidden to speak in Berkeley because Berkeley is intolerant of everything. And so Richard Dawkins had to be silenced. Muslims responded to the news by issuing a statement saying everyone involved should be killed. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Clavin, and this is The Andrew Clavin Show.